Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, thank you for joining me today. The second video in the series of me going over job descriptions and kind of like walking through them with my thought process as I'm looking at the different requirements and things like that and ultimately deciding would I apply for this job? Um, it's basically meant to give you kind of like a structure of, hey, here's a job and this is my reasoning behind why I would or would not apply for this job and kind of going through that whole process. So I hope it's helpful to you and let's get started. I wanted to include this one because I see a lot of jobs that have short descriptions. The important thing about this is that you can apply to them if like jobs that are like this small job description you're like oh my gosh what exactly do they are they looking for because it's like kind of like a run-on sentence <laughs> and then they have slashes so it's kind of like weird in my opinion but I would still be interested to learn more about the company and about the people that work with the company to see if this could be um, a match for me so this is like I'm saying this is just me talking about how I would apply for these if I would apply for these jobs so for this one um, they had to name the company and the location. This is awesome um, because then you can look up the company. Eh, let's just look. Well, this is just going to tell me on ZipRecruiter. Eh, nix it. So the first thing I notice here is the experience is zero to two years of experience. Awesome. But then they go on to say, and I forgot to mention, but it is a junior software developer position. So that's awesome. It says Java required spring. Oh, okay. This that first thing I don't have it and at this point I'm thinking I don't know if I should apply for this job because I don't have Java um, and it says it's required so let's keep moving on and let's see if there's anything in here that I that resonates with me um, drop wizard preferred API never heard of it if I was interested I would look this up and figure out what this is rest I know about rest right those create uh, update delete edit update statements read those statements um spring boot preferred Ooh. either front end or back end or both i don't know what this is right i'm gonna be quite honest with you um i have a vague idea of what it could be and i don't even know so <laughs> I, I don't have enough knowledge about it to talk about it intelligently. So I wouldn't feel okay with that part. And it talks about React. I don't know React. I don't know Redux. Is it Redo? Well, see, I can't even say it. So I don't know it. You see what I'm saying? I do know Node. Okay. Other JS preferred. So other JavaScript preferred. Um, either front end or back end or both. That's kind of weird because it's kind of like, are you talking about other JS frameworks? I don't, I don't know what you mean. Um, I'm pretty sure that's probably what they're referring to, but I don't really know because it isn't exactly specified. TDD, they're talking about test-driven development. Do you know how to test your stuff? Um, this is something that CI nice. Oh, CI. Okay, continuous integration that's another thing all this is kind of smushed together <laughs> so I'm trying to read it as if it's like a one word so CI is continuous integration okay are you familiar with that concept do you know what that means um, nice to have is nice to have okay tech lead experience and it says nice to have so I'm assuming it's saying tech lead experience is a nice thing to have okay but I'm a little confused because you said this was a junior software development uh, developer position and normally if you're a junior software developer with zero to two years of experience you haven't been a lead anywhere as of yet in your career but you will get there one day um I don't know how I feel about that I I don't see I don't I don't know microservices hands-on experience nice to have messaging service I'm just gonna run through these no sequel search engine docker I'm gonna stop myself here with this information that I have with this I would not apply to this job posting however 
if I did my research and I looked up this company, is this a company? But I'm curious. I'm sorry. This this video might get long because I'm I'm curious now. Oh, okay. Got it. I'm look. I looked up Bright Wing. I thought this was the company that wants direct hiring me. It's not. It's a recruiting agency. Okay. Hmm. Well, that kind of changes things. <laughs> um. I would not apply to this job. I'm going to be quite honest and very fair to you. And the first thing that deters me is this Java required spring. Um, and even if they mean spring is required, I don't know either of those. I cannot do those. That's not where my skill set lies. So I would say no to this one. I'll explain a little bit more about this job description. Um, it is job posting actually and, and my reaction to it. I mentioned in the video, I looked it up, saw it was a recruiting agency and I was like, oh, that explains a lot, right? So I came to the following assumptions. Uh, I basically assumed that the actual company was very vague in what they wanted and um, they may not know exactly what they're looking for, specifically what they wanted. And, and so um, short job descriptions or you know job descriptions like that um, or job descriptions that are like that are kind of that are very vague they kind of rub me the wrong way um, and also was another assumption I made was that the recruiting agency may not be of assistance as well for this particular position and then the biggest thing for me is, is you know to my decision is um, that they were looking specifically for Java and Spring and that's something I don't have. Those are skills I don't have and skills I don't want to pursue at this time. So though that's kind of my reasoning behind it. The Another thing that kind of stood out at me that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, I had experience with this before, is that the job posting talks about Java and JavaScript frameworks. In the past, I've run, I've multiple times before, I've run across recruiters who will join Java and JavaScript and, and they kind of think that Java is just a shorter way to say JavaScript and it's not. Those are two different languages, two different things, two different skill sets. And um, it's one of those things where it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Now, there could be, um, in some cases, there are cases where um, they are looking for someone who knows Java and JavaScript. So you just have to ask the right questions, like I said, and um, kind of dig deeper into what they're actually looking for. So that was my reasoning behind that. I kind of want to clarify a couple things and hopefully that makes sense to you. All right. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful for you all. Give it a like if it was helpful to you. Leave a comment below stating whether you would or would not apply for this job and kind of like why. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel for more content if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Um, and I look forward to seeing you all in another video soon. Bye.